I hope that this film is a welcome sort of breath of fresh air um, this summer for people, you know, looking for something that's that they've not seen before. My character Cole, he's a flight director for NASA, um, and it's He's in a real predicament, you know, he can't get the money that he needs to be able to go to the moon. And he has to, you know, but they're telling him he has to go to the moon. So it's a bit of a catch-22. So they bring in a big gun to sell the moon, and that is Scarlet. The character of Kelly was so undeniably awesome. Um, I would have been jealous if somebody else had played her. It's not a movie that they make very much anymore. You know, it's, it is a romantic comedy, but it also is set in like a big event, you know, a really big event in our history. It's not just America, but like obviously the, the world, you know, to be able to go to the moon and to have these two people sort of falling in love during it is, is really, I think, a beautiful story that we don't get to see. Ray's got one of those things that He's so funny, so smart, but you actually, he breaks your heart as well. Like, he really makes you care. And that's, you know, I guess it's not rare, but it is special. He's such a wonderful co-star because he's incredibly professional. He's incredibly gorgeous. He's incredibly likable in all ways. And uh, yeah, it's just great to work with somebody who's a pro like that comes to work every day and is happy to be there and and you know warm and and the crew loves him. All the kids in the movie, man. Uh, God, who else? Hey, Woody. God, I've, that's my second time with Woody, and I still like don't know. You know, you never know what he's gonna do in a scene. You really don't. You never know what he's going to do in the scene. He, like, he'll do a take, and you see him over there kind of kind of like planning something, and you're just it, but it makes you listen. It makes you listen in the scene. You can't just get complacent. And he's just so fun.